we started the APSA Cybersecurity Academy uh, in March 2019 uh, to take marginalized youth uh, through a program of education. So we were always uh, focused on opening up another campus in Cape Town this time, and it's basically giving cybersecurity training to these uh, young kids, uh, and then hopefully giving them a job at the end of it. In terms of you know, what they face, it's, it's a whole range of things, alcoholism, drugs, abuse, uh, physical danger, um, going to bed hungry. The area that I live in um, is Rockland's Mitchell's Plain. It has a big history of drug abuse, gangsterism. It's actually a big thing here, even with the kids. They don't even have that opportunity to become kids because of the surrounding. They are actually putting them into this selling of drugs and uh, the gangsterism from a young age. I was with my one friend and we, we were busy drinking and I walked home and the neighborhood watch, they were driving around and they caught me drunk on the streets and they actually brought me home and told my father and that is also when I realized I can't go on living my life like this, you know. I always had the same mindset of I want to become something because of what I saw out there. Many teenagers sitting on corners uh, doing drugs and um, becoming gangsters. So I always had the same mindset of, I want something for myself. If you grow up in a place of difficult circumstances, you have that choice to be better. My last year of school matric, I really gave it my all and I started achieving stuff that I didn't even think was possible for me to achieve personally. Got certificates, um, top 10 always. The thing that I'm most proud of in my, in my life is actually my son. I named him Neo, which means uh, my gift. As time went by, I saw the finances that go into also being a single parent, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to give him the best if I don't push myself harder. With what I'm doing currently, I will be able to give my son a better future. A couple of weeks ago, there was an article that said there are more unemployed people than those receiving a paycheck. Can you imagine if we've managed to train 10,000 people? Those 10,000 people have brothers and sisters, and parents and family members that need their support. So it's all of these things are interconnected. We just don't think about it. They're making a difference for themselves and their family. I imagine myself um, starting my own company, actually, my own cybersecurity company, and just um, having a big impact on, on businesses. We came from nothing, struggling to have a meal at night to actually something now where we can actually eat every night. To get out of a negative cycle, you actually have to force yourself, you have to be driven. You as a person who can start your own company and you can help the next person get the job. You want to make a change. It all starts with uh, the environment that we're in. And when we see that there is no hope, we think to ourselves, you can only be either a gangster or you can sell drugs. Giving back to the community means uh, giving someone else uh, hope. I ask of those that are looking at this video and watching, reach out to the academy. We're looking for making a real difference in people's lives. Cybersecurity is just a byproduct of that.